Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my very hard campaign for Carthage episode number 8 and we are back making more videos for this campaign. So, I need to quickly review what happened cause last time because I haven't actually checked my <laughs> my latest Carthage part which is up on YouTube. So, I've got to try to remember. Let me see. Oh yes, the Etruscans took Neapolis. Rome is up on DCM, what we got here? Latin rebels, they'll slow them down, hopefully. Um Cosentia. Oh, we got rebellion, are we? No we're not. We're, we're looking good. In Cosentia. I, I should point out as well, you notice the UI? Look at all the blood I have on the UI. This is the bloody UI mod, which you can download from the Steam Workshop. I probably use this for all my my let's plays for Rome 2 from now on. It's a pretty good mod. I prefer it, you know, if I bring it up here, all the, the screens have got a kind of nice dark red Roman sort of texture to it rather than the kind of bland, dull looking black which we had previously. So yeah, it looks good. It's only really an aesthetic, a, I can't say it, aesthetical kind of uh, mod. But anyway, back to the campaign. So we have slums in Cosentia. That's not good at all. I'm trying to remember where I am with this campaign. I should have probably watched my last video for this. Oh yeah, we got Baytica. I was planning to take out the Romans in one swift go, I believe. Let's bring the attitude up. Epirus likes us, Etruscans like us, and Nova Carthago is still allied with us, which is good. Cyrenatia, where are they? All the way over there. Could do with them as allies, so can we get I anything with them? Not aggression, oh, they won't even accept it. Carthage is quite a hard faction to play as with the diplomacy because no one seems to like them very much. Okay, so we got this army here. I'm probably better off bringing them into Carthage itself. I'll keep them nearby because we we are losing troops by desertion. We haven't got much food, that's the important thing I need to do at the moment. I have 1,700 odd to spend. Can I build anything for food? Nothing over here, we have a Corallis. Ah, I can actually, if I upgrade my shrine, it gives me four food, plus more unit replenishment, so I'll go for that straight away. i got to hope I don't lose Corallis, though. What's the garrison? Not too bad. Five units of mob, that's not good, though. But I think we'd be okay. My spy... Oh, look at this army. I'm, i got to be resigned to lose Lilibium. I think I may actually bring my ships around, let Syracuse take this. These ships would be handy elsewhere, so I might bring them towards uh, Cosentia. I, I remember now, I lost Hannibal, I lost my main army at Cosentia, so I need to try to defend this this uh, province. Let's bring these ships up to reinforce it at least. I've only got a garrison of two mobs, so that's no good. Uh, it's not looking good, is it? I need, I need the Etruscans to take Rome out, basically. They've got Velathri as well. It's not good at all. So yeah, at the moment I'm just derping around on the campaign map. I'm just trying to figure out everything at the moment, what I was thinking. Ah, oh, we're at war with these guys as well, look at this. It's not good at all. The Maasai... I hate African tribes in this game, I absolutely despise them. Because they, they basically <laughs> spam these massive full stack or near full stack armies and they just take you out. No problem at all, just take you out. I've still got Carthage, need to hold on to Carthage. I mean... Worst case scenario, I lose Carthage, perhaps Cosentia and Lilibium, because I got nothing to defend them. I got no armies I can raise. I, I won't defeat that. Lilibium has what? Two units of mob, one citizen militia, three Libyan hoplites, and they're not even full strength because of the attrition, so they're only half full anyway. So I'll lose to this, this near full stack, <laughs> the champions of Nike. I'll probably lose Lilibium to them. Cosentia will probably be taken by the Romans, I imagine. But I can make a last stand there. Corallis will then be left on its own over here. Hopefully I can rebuild here and form up a strong army there. So I'm going to be focusing on the east. Not the east, sorry, the west. <laughs> I can't even work out my east from my west today. I'm going to be concentrating on the west of my empire. So we have uh, Carter Dash, we have the Grand Republic of Ars. <laughs> oh, what a funny name. Right. I also, I have allies over here in Nova Carthago. This is probably going to be my strongest 
uh, thing. celtic -y. Let's just double check. I got a, I'm sure I got something with one of the tribes over here. It might be the celtic -y. Do we have any... We have a non-aggression pack. That's good. We can't trade or nothing, which is bad. I got an army over here. Are they suffered any sort of. These guys now suffer an attrition, see, because they're in a well. They're in a place where they've got a good shrine. They can sustain their troops over here. I could actually recruit some more, which wouldn't be a bad idea. But I'm actually going if I can. I want to raise a secondary army over here. I don't really care what's happening in the Mediterranean. I'd rather take all of Iberia slowly than than to quickly try to retake everything over there because I think that's fighting a losing battle at this stage but I'll hold on for as long as I can so Hananoid uh, and Barkid so I'm gonna want my own family member he's a statesman so he's not gonna be that good but I don't really care about that uh, I don't gonna reinstate uh, how do I go back let's click on this again uh, raise an army war elephants of course the Tusks of Destiny, that's a horrible name. Uh, rich, uh, la, la, details, there we go. This one's called Kartuba's Finest. This was raised at Kartuba as well. But the region is called Baytika, so I'm going to call it after the region, I think. So we'll go with... Um, something simple. Baytika's... Legion, how about that? I know they're not really legions, not like not in the sense of Roman legions, but it'll do. And we can get a unit of ho Libyan hoplites to begin with. So I'm gonna have two armies roaming around Iberia basically. I, but I'm gonna just hole up here for one or two turns, see what happens, and then probably try to retake Carter Dash. Could have perhaps go across the Ibosim over here. So could we at war with the Gaetuli, I believe? Here we are. Hopefully Nova Carthago can hold out here at Gadira. If not, I can have to soup down there and try and take that. I can't let um, Gaetuli expand too much because I'll be overpowered and overrun in Iberia otherwise. So I need to keep Nova Carthago on my side for as long as possible and try and keep them alive for as long as possible. They should be okay. they got 16 uh, units stack here plus uh, 7 units in the garrison plus a fleet. I sh they should be okay for a turn or two. They got another fleet over here as well. So I think I can end turn. See what happens in this end turn phase. It feels great to be back making these videos because what you guys won't know is that I recorded the last four episodes of my Carthage campaign and the last four episodes of my Sparta campaign over the Christmas period because I had some free time. Ooh, what's this? Athens has declared war on me. Uh, I'm not going to bother asking them to join in because why bother? They're all over the other side of the map, so they're not going to have any effect anyway. Yeah, so basically I, I recorded those four episodes. For the last four episodes of this campaign and the last four episodes of my Sparta campaign over the Christmas period when I had some free time. So I haven't actually recorded any of my two main Let's Plays for... Oh, it's still not good. For a few weeks now, a good few weeks. So this... Um, part this campaign I'm trying to remember and it looks like Nova Carthago have been wiped out <laughs> oh as soon as I said that oh Libya piss off <laughs> you're doing my head in so basically yeah that was that was the kind of status of this let's play I uploaded those parts so I'm trying to remember now piece by piece what, what I was doing I did have a plan initially I think I mentioned it in my last episode oh look at this this is bullshit this is absolute bullshit uh, I I, I've got to lose this battle regardless, so I'm going to auto resolve this, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to win at all. We'll go for aggressive, see if we can take a few more of them out. But we we're never going to hold on to Lilibium. I just announced that in my last, uh, in the last turn. Then, yeah, that's fine. We lost everyone. Hardly left a scratch on them. I'm happy to lose Lilibium, and I'll lose Cosentia soon as well, probably. My food has gone up to minus two now. Edict cancelled, that's not very good. Trade agreement dissolved because they're gone. Attrition, uh, uh, sabotage, province contested, did we know that? Food shortage, war target invalid invalid uh, invalidated. <laughs> what if I'm a misbeam blackmail? The bastards, counter the rumours. I don't really, I don't really care about gravitas at the moment. My empire's fallen apart and, and all these guys care about is 
gravitas. What's this? Martial infantry, cavalry. Infantry, we need the recruitment for infantry, so I go for navy. I go for infantry though. Um army destroy, fleet destroy, we don't care, we don't care. Settlement loss, we know that. Uh they're gone, aren't they, more or less? Nova Carthago, let's just double check, because they might still be Yeah, that little fleet is what remains of them. So they're useless bastards basically. Um did Keltiki are unfriendly because of my actions against the Turtadani. Why why, why, why? I need to get them on my... I don't want an aggression <laughs> They're going to be at war with me soon. Oh, this is not good. I need to take Gadira and Carter Dash as quickly as possible. But look at this. I've got one, two, three, four provinces against my one. It's not looking good. All I can do is really replenish, recruit and so forth. So I've got... Here we go. Recruitment's going to be a lot less. So I can go for a couple of these. I can't actually recruit decent units apart from these two as well. <laughs> uh, what, what buildings have I got here then? Uh, I need three population surplus for expansion for another building slot. We have a half decent garrison so I might not need this garrison in here. What happens if I take them out? Minus two. Okay, what happens if I cancel these and take this army in? Plus two, right. So we can replenish a couple of units. Two of them. Two of them. I'll go for go for that to begin with. This army is fully replenished. It's basically shit though. It's <laughs> Libyan Hoplites plus Libyan Javelin. It's the shittest army you'll probably find in in the west of this empire. What mercenaries are available to me? Mm, mercenary Iberian swordsman. Look at the upkeep though. Not worth it at the moment. I could just walk. Wait. Keltiki. Looks like it's a big city doesn't it? This is a town. Gadira would be easier to take. Five plus four. Garrison of three. I could probably take them. You can get there this turn. I'm at war with them anyway. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you know what? I've got an idea. I've got, actually got a pretty good idea here. Attack them this turn. They are weakened from the last battle, which is good. We will encircle them. I click on here. Mercenaries available, still at one unit. I need 484, but I can just take a couple of them off, recruit that to give me a mercenary unit. We're gonna have to fight them in this bat in this uh, part. I should be able to retake Gadira and have the full province. Problem is, I need to defend it then. Tingis is only over here, but they they could be taken out perhaps in a turn as well. I could just soup for them as well. Can I reinforce? I may as well just move everything to the to the west of my empire because this bugger all over happening over here. Just, <laughs> just mo I'm gonna lose Carthage anyway with this army. <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, right? You're not gonna see a, a let's play like this with Carthage on YouTube where where the player gives up Carthage and everything in the Mediterranean. So I may as well be the first person on YouTube to do this. So I'm gonna force march. <laughs> <laughs> my general out of Carthage. This is how desperate my campaign is. Oh shit! I just thought of something. <laughs> they could be taken out here by these guys. I need to make a quick uh, run for it, basically, over to Gadira. So I'm going to move my general <laughs> and its units from Carthage because Carthage is a battle which is going to be lost. Can look at this. What's the point of wasting units? I can't defend Carthage again. My garrisons are, are weakened. Look at that. Only 58 men of 160 of the citizens. That's not good at all. The citizen militia. I got another army here which is going to be doing the same thing. <laughs> Buggering off quickly. Get out of Carthage. It's not worth it my friends. It's not worth it. The real battles to the west of this empire I'm afraid. And I could just... I'm going to catch them up with this unit basically. We could actually... No, they will that work? Uh, they can all join up, be in one big fleet like that. Eleven plus one. So now that, see, it's more units. I know they they're all depleted, but I got two generals here, which can if I can get them onto neutral soil or onto ally soil. You know they could replenish, and they might be able to assist me over here. I Qatar. I can't say it. Kartuba is well defended. Well, five mob units. That's not good at all. But you know, it's a more stable situation over here, at least with the population at the moment, and 
you know, I'm not you. My units in Kartuba are not deplenishing at all. So yeah, this you're not going to see a let's play like this with Carthage on YouTube where I I give up everything over here. But that's what I'm going to do because they start off in such a horrible position. It's almost not worth it. My spy, you know, I don't need him over here anymore. He can do a come speak properly. He can bugger off over here as well. Can he? Can he move faster like everyone else? Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Right, so we're going to move my spy all the way across as well. Get him to Gadira. No point having him there. A little bit of lag. What else have we got? Nothing in Corrales. I'm not going to defend. I could try to hold on to. I might still try to hold on to Corrales. Cosentia is a lost battle as well, lost cause, I should say. These ships. Both of these ships are useless, so raiding, patrol on double time. Just, they're all going to be on double time, basically. All moving away from the Mediterranean. The lost cause that is the Mediterranean. Because, uh, to be honest with you, they they do... Um, Carthage is probably one of the weakest factions at the start of the game. Probably one of the weakest factions in the game, because they have so many provinces to begin with, but they're all split up, so... Like it's not like where you start off as Rome, for example, where you have Rome, you have Neapolis, you've only got to take Arminium and Velathri from the Etruscans and you've got a whole province straight away. Because Rome's already got a very well formidable fortificated city here with a big garrison. Look at that ten garrison. With decent units, look Rorari and Levies, not like mob units. So even if the Etruscans attack, the Rome should hold out very easily. So they got a much easier task of it to get a full, a f a full province. Whereas here, I don't have... F well, I did have a full province, but Libya are a bunch of twats. So I don't have that province anymore. Uh, Syracuse always side with Rome, so this was always going to be lost with the two of them together. It was always going to be difficult to take Italy anyway. And uh, eventually Alalia... Not Alalia. Caralis will be lost as well, so... Yeah, I think I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> At least I hope I am. I might be regretting this in a few turns time, especially if I lose Kartuba. <laughs> Where do I recruit then? My food will start to go down as well. So we can continue to recruit here. Can't, Of course I'm recruiting, so I can't really build anything else up. Gadida will be useful as well, once I take it. Can't tell what buildings they are, though. Stupid design decision by CA again. I'm going to end turn. Hopefully we can get a bat. Oh shit! I just remembered something. <laughs> I just made a massive mistake. I was supposed to attack them. <laughs> I clicked end turn when I was supposed to attack them. Shit! They might be able to reinforce now. I just made a massive error in this campaign. I did so much talking then in that in that uh, end turn phase that I actually forgot to to click the attack button. I was going to take uh, I was going to take that province then. Oh, I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret this big time. Oh, they didn't attack me. Oh, brilliant. The gate tool didn't attack me. Oh, I got away with it. I can't believe that. I was thought I was screwed then. I really thought I was going to be screwed. Oh, I am screwed. <laughs> Mind you, I could... Oh, I can't actually... I can't win this, can I? I need to show you guys a battle, so we'll fight this battle anyway. I can't see me winning. This was always going to be the risk I was going to take. I probably should have tried to split them up a bit. Maybe sent one out first, then not sent the other, but... I'm going to try to look at the positives. I'm going to pay the upkeep anymore. <laughs> oh, so many mistakes being made in this campaign. I should have picked an easier faction, but... But actually, I didn't pick this faction. It was actually you guys that picked this in my subscriber vote back in... Back in the summer, so... This one's on you. <laughs> I wanted to play him as well, mind to be honest. Start battle. I like Carthage. Historically, I like Carthage. They're a pretty cool faction. Hannibal's a pretty cool general, and he's pretty badass as well. He has my badassery seal of approval, as Angry Joe would say. So, how are we going to win this? Well, luck, hopefully. Lots and lots of luck. Bring these units forward. I hate naval battles, by the way. Naval battles absolutely despise them. They crap, especially in this game. Uh, oh, come on, select! It's not letting me select them. Uh, I'll do. I think I know I'll select them all. <laughs> Just bring them all forward. 
send in one man in on a suicide mission. We're going to give him some inspiration because he bloody needs it. I might zoom in. Look, I'm going to check my frames per second as I do this. Uh, 30 frames per second as I zoom in. That's not too bad. I've had worse. I've changed the gra- oh, it's gone down quite a lot now. <laughs> yeah, I'd, so one of my subscribers left me a comment on one of my uh, online battle videos asking if I would zoom in a little bit more. I would, I, you know, I want to zoom in more. Oh, I'm going to lose the ship now. Oh, we've had it. Only got seven left. I would zoom in more, but the problem I have is that my frames per second just drop. You know, they completely drop when I when I do zoom in. So it's quite difficult because I don't want to be playing a game which is lagging all the time. I want to try to to you know get the best quality that I can get on YouTube for you guys and for myself. So. You know, it's not that I don't want to zoom in, but sometimes, like I did it in a siege battle on one of my Sparta episodes, and the game lagged so much that the rest of the battle actually played out like that. So, yeah, it can be quite difficult. Come on, we can do this. We have more men. We can use the whip. Let's just board this bastard. 115. Some of these are depleted, so we can. We might be able to take some of them out. We're all. I hate this. This is why I hate the most. <laughs> oh man. Now we've taken. We've taken them out. There's no flag there. Yeah, we, they're jumping out. They've they've thought, fuck it. We don't want any more of this guy. His ships are much uh, much stronger. <laughs> oh, I hate. You no know, one of the things I hate the most about Total War. I hate it when you can. Oh, we're actually doing quite well. We lost. We're depleting a lot of their. Uh, a lot of their men. But what I hate is when, like a battle like this, I've never thought I'd win it, but at the moment it's looking like I could do it, because they are losing quite a lot of ships. Like I'm charging into them like this, look. Uh, that wasn't a very good charge. Oh, but we're taking lots of their men out. We have 60 against 58. Uh, it's not too bad there. Oh, really shit, they're firing from over there. Okay, we better jump out of this ship in that case. One of the things I hate with naval battles is you can... I can... In for instance, board one of their ships with my ship. I could have 60 men on it against their 60. I could win the battle fair and square. And then the ship gets destroyed, so that my crew, which is already on a different ship, decides to jump off. It's one of the things, I think it's, it's a design decision I just don't agree with. So I just absolutely despise it. I'm actually doing pretty well. I've, they're losing so many men at the moment. Don't give me false hope, damn you. Rome Total War 2. Total War Rome 2. Don't give me... They've only got three left, they shattered. Fire on the guys behind you because they're outflanking you. They have 82, what do we have? 76. We have a big, fairly big ship. Might be able to do damage here. Charge! Ah, oh, take the bastards out, come on. I'm swearing quite a lot in this episode. I can't get excited. Oh, another big bang on that, and that's gone for. Surely. Oh, man. <laughs> they actually glitched out over here by the looks of it. I'm going to charge him with this ship now. Can't they just sw uh, row that way? It's very strange. Oh, John, jump off! <laughs> you fools. Transport ships ready. It's my Carthaginian accent. Transport ships ready. And this ship is... Oh, it's glitching like hell. These ships... Yeah, the pathfinding in naval battles is horrible. You just get a big, massive cluster of ships, and it's how well you can micromanage. Are they jumping off? Look like they're gonna jump off. Yes, done it. Excellent. We've just made them route. Try and take out 120 on that ship. That's not good. That's not good at all. Don't ram me, you fools. Oh no, they're jumping off. Oh, you cowards! Look at them, cowards. So, yeah, I hate this. This is why I hate with naval battles. They just all decide to jump off. Surely they can stay on and fire arrows or something until until the last man. I know there's mods where you can actually it's uh I think it's the morale mod where they basically don't route until they, they don't route at all, so every man stays and fights the last man. But yeah, as you can see, naval battle's not very good in this game. It was only five minute battle as well, so yeah. Took out some of their ships though, you know. We did kill seven hundred and twenty two of them. They lost 929, so I'm assuming that some of them is the men that just uh, routed and jumped off the ship. They don't actually count as kills, I don't think. 
in naval battles. Noble death, general's dead, of course. Which is a big shame, but you know what? It's my own fault for pulling them away. They're going to get defeated anyway. There's no way I could have held on where I was. Oh, we haven't lost these guys though. Oh, brilliant. So I've still got our navy by the looks of it. I might need to recruit a couple of mercenary naval ships. Oh, you bastards. And I thought I could actually ro uh, flee. Retreat. That's what I meant to say. Retreat. Oh, excellent. They might still have my ships. I need every man to the west. I got it right that time. The west. An honourable death for Himilkar. Uh, <laughs> mission failed. Defender of Carthage. I don't care. Oh, we'll have some war, war elephants, please. Uh, where's this guy to? Oh, this army, is it? May go oh, over here? I think so. I have no idea. Alright, so this battle is going to be fought in the next episode. They, they've actually fleed... Fle I can't say... They've actually fleed my... Uh, from Gadira. That's good. Don't, maybe they don't want to fight me. I'm going to quickly bring up my ships. I got three of them all together. I got these guys on force march still, double time, yeah. So we're gonna take these guys over here. If I can get back onto my land or near my land, then I'd be really happy indeed. Hopefully, they won't attack me from Kardash or Ebosim. Balhamon, Balhamon, be praised. I do the same with this guy then as well. This ship, speed things up a little bit. Just get this done for this turn. There we go. So these three ships we have here, the Phoenician Wanderers, the Leviathans and the Pride of Himilcar, these three navies and armies are going to be moved to reinforce. In this campaign, big changes have been made. No other channel is going to be like this. I'm basically making Khartoum for my capital <laughs> and I'm going to rebuild everything from this uh, this kind of region of the map because there's just so much overpowerment over here. Carthage is going to be lost soon and Cosentia is going to be lost soon. I've resigned to that, but I'm happy enough to lose those provinces. But anyway, uh, we have the Battle of Gadira in the next part. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've enjoyed. Until next time, goodbye.